Good morning and welcome to school today. It is the last day of February, the 28th, and we don't, sometimes we have leap year and we'll have the 29th of February, but not this year. It's still just the 28th um, and we don't have a song to sing. So let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, it's hard to believe that tomorrow is going to be the first day of March. All right, so today we're supposed to have cheesy baked rotini with cheese-filled breadsticks, steamed broccoli, and mango wango juice, and diced peaches. And we don't have any birthdays for today. Isn't that weird? But today is my daddy's birthday. He is 86 today. So if you think I'm old, he's a whole lot older. All right, let's see, our attendance yesterday, 92.8. If you round that up to the nearest tenth, it's still just 93, and we need to get 96 to have a costume day. 97, we'll have a pajama day, and then 98, we'll do something else really super fun for everybody, okay? So let's try and get those good attendance days. Um, let's see, we only had two perfect attendance homerooms. Congratulations to Miss Lee and Mr. Shelton's room. That's a great job, you guys. It's hard to get perfect attendance right now with all these bugs we got going around, so... All righty, our last, oh, and I love this one, our last Black History Month quote is from Martin Luther King Jr. I know that you guys all know he's the civil rights activist. The time is always right to do what is right. The time is always right to do what is right. Love that one. That one might be my favorite of all of them. Remember that our mission here at Red Oak Elementary is to have academic excellence, you know, make those brains really strong, to have a nurturing environment. We're talking about our heart. Um, and keep making sure that everybody feels safe and then remember that it's life ready so we're looking to the future what's our passion and our purpose okay and remember that our uh, manner of the week this week is it's never okay to cheat on anything okay nothing at all please check the lost and found we're going to try and get rid of that really soon so get those coats because there's a lot of spring coats in there and I think we might have just been done with winter so make sure you check for that all right, we have a idiom today, an idiom, an idiom, a idiom. Um, it is kill two birds with one stone. Doesn't really mean that anybody's birds are getting killed. It just means that you solve two problems at one time, okay? So that's, um, since I had to go to Florida to visit my grandparents, I decided to kill two birds with one stone by going to the beach as well. So doing two things at one time is that idiom. Congratulations to Miss John's class. They have completed their ninth red oak chart. And let's see here. Right, today I have some bus behavior compliments, okay? Emery Markham, um, um, let's see, this is from Bus 308. Emery has shown so much improvement this year. Her behavior has calmed greatly, and she has gotten more control over her volume. Great job, Emery. Emma Grigsby, um, I can't say enough about Emma. She is very responsible, a great student bus monitor. She does everything with discretion in my, as my eyes and ears. She has very mature behavior. I will miss her very much next year. Also 308. Um, this is Colin Reed. Colin and his brother have improved. Very well behaved and very well mannered. I do love to hear when you guys are good manners. I enjoy having them on the bus. And then here's the brother one, Connor Reed. Connor and his brother are my most improved students of the year. Well behaved and very well mannered. I enjoy having them on the bus. That makes me so happy, guys, when you make that improvement, too. So um, come down and see me, and I have a treat for you, okay? I'll leave those with Miss Wanda. All right, congratulations to, let's see, I think it says Reagan Adams for her hard work. Uh, in dedication in achieving her already personalized instruction, she has done 100 reading lessons. And Jacob, Jacob Sweetek has also done 100 reading lessons, um, and that's also from Miss Johns. Great job, you guys. All righty. Xander Cates responded appropriately to a problem. Case Miller helped a friend tie her shoes. Jacob Cout played with a new friend at recess. Camden Wright was helpful to the substitute. Case Miller was kind and invited someone else to play at recess. Thank you, Case. I know that that's just hard for someone not have someone to play with, so I appreciate you doing that. Evelina M. was a great example at class during Kona Ice. Landon Plotz was respectful and helpful with the substitute. Wyatt Johnston followed the directions the first time with the substitute. I love that. It's especially, I know sometimes with the sub, you're thinking, ah, oh, maybe I don't have to, but here at our school, we want to follow the directions the first time, okay? 
Izzy Banks was a great example during the substitute. <coughs> Evelina Martinuk was kind and respectful to our substitute, and so was. <coughs> uh, I think spring is here. Evelina Shavaya, so was Alyssa Bird also. Miss Lee's class, thanks for being such great uh, role models of Raider behavior for that sub. Um, Alicia and Miss Quinn's class set a good example. Eric in Miss Fan Baker's room, that's Mr. Baker, Miss Fan, Miss, uh, Miss Baker, Mr. Fannin's room, nice job in music. Mira and Miss Watkins' class in music class, Mrs. Burns noticed these things. She was an active listener, she was silent, and she paid attention. And Helena in music class, Miss Burns noticed these things. She made good decisions, she kept her, kept her hands and feet to herself, and she set a good example. Timothy, or Timmy in Miss Watkins' class, Miss Burns noticed that he was silent and used appropriate responses. Sometimes there'll be lots of things marked, but I just always pick out the two that I think are super important for that one. Mason Ritchie and Mr. Sm Smitty's class used appropriate responses. Landon Plotz got right to work in math groups. Alyssa Bird was focused and worked hard. Camden Wright got right to work in math groups. McKenna and Miss Quinn's class set a good example. Dean Nelson and Miss McDermott's class helped a new friend learn. Charlie Mahan in Mr. Smitty's room included everyone and took turns and played fairly. Brandon Hager in Mr. Smitty's class was silent when he needed to be. Kate, uh, Catherine Ferguson was silent when she needed to be. Aubrey Bland was silent when she needed to be. And Reagan Gillum also silent when she needed to be and so was Timothy Zook. Rosa Baranoff was a great group work partner. I saw some of that work. You guys really worked hard yesterday in Ms. Shibley's class. I appreciated that. Catherine and Mr. Smitty slept help others focus in music. Eli and Mr. Smitty class did excellent singing in music. Carter Hamley was si Carter Hammond in Miss Shipley was silent in the hall. Emmeline Short was silent in the hall. Dylan Himes helped others clean up. Raylan Wells while waiting for instruction. Raylan chose to read. Great job, Raylan. Uh, Landon in Miss Lee's room was an example, excellent example in music, and Evelina M in Miss uh, Lee's class, I believe that too, did a great job. Keontae um, set a good example. Jacob Kaup made sure his table was spotless before lining up in the cafeteria. Thank you, Jacob. I hate for people to have to sit down at a yucky table, so I appreciate you doing that. Asher Mack picked up others' trash in the cafeteria. Alyssa Bird cleaned the room during recess. RJ Caver stayed focused and completed work on time. Liam Dunaway, this one's from Mr. Um, White. Mr. White taught a music class yesterday, so he, he doesn't give very many of these, but he gave outstanding effort in music class he expected to learn. TJ and Miss John's class did some nice drumming in music. Jordan Eli, from, also from Mr. White from music class, he was a fantastic leader in music class on Monday. He knew we couldn't set a good example. Evelyn and Miss John's room had some nice singing in music. Chloe Cross set a good example. Nathaniel Clark worked really hard on iReady. Kamari Anderson set a good example. <clears throat> Melanie Kudrick made a new student feel welcome. Connor Speck gave up his spot so another student could have her. Oh, Connor, that was very kind. And Alina Hulavitenko tried her best. Great job, guys. Some super good ones there. Okay, then let's see here. Okay, did you know that hippos are the third largest mammals on Earth? I'm wondering what might be the first and the second one. So, hmm, if you find that out, let me know and I'll announce that too. Okay, what's faster, hot or cold? Cold, you can catch a cold. <laughs> I like that, those of us from Ms. Ella. Uh, let's see, um, we've done all of those people before. What's the noisiest game you can play? Racquetball, I used to play racquetball when I was a young thing, long time ago. Uh, what did the earthquake say to the tornado? Don't look at me, it's not my fault. Um, what did the tree say to the lumberjack? Leave me alone. And why, we did this one the other day, I think. Why was it so hot in the stadium after all of the basketball fans left? Because, no, after the, after the game, all the fans left, that's it, so, sorry. I guess it's bad when you ruin the punchline. All right, let's say our Red Oak expectations together. Teachers, help me make sure everyone is. Respect ourselves, others, our place. Expect to learn, do our best own our behavior, always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves, that you are always kind here, there, and everywhere, just like a Dr. Seuss book. And remember that our hallways are silent places for everybody. Even if it's just you and one friend, we're still gonna be silent in the hallway, okay? 
All right, have a fabulous day. Um, TLM leaders, remember we have our, our strand meeting because I was out last week um, after school. Uh, we'll do that in Ms. Hall's room. And let's see, was that it? I think that might have been it. So have a great day. Do your work. Do it well. I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.